you probably gather by the clouds and the rain clouds I'm in England and uh, it looks like it's going to rain. Um, I'm going to talk about batteries and inverters and really start at the very basic for people who don't understand what it's all about. So what's a solar battery? Well, a battery is a battery. Most people know what a battery is. It's, you know, batteries in even the thing you can put in a kid's toy or what you charge your mobile phone or what's in a car. They're all batteries. It's just a method of storing electricity. So what I'm actually going to look at is solar batteries or storage batteries. These are much larger batteries, typically lithium ion, that can store masses amounts of energy in a very small, compact area. So the purpose of the battery is obviously to save electricity and the electricity you could be saving could be buying cheap electricity off peak or if you're lucky enough you've got a solar array store the solar energy because you don't want to be exporting selling the power back to the grid no more because electricity prices are so expensive and so traditionally people used to sell the power back to the grid now you save it and i can say in the uk you might get for an example eight pence a kilowatt hour for exporting electricity and selling it back and you're going to buy it back in the evening at 40 pence it's crazy. So the battery is a method of storing. Think of it as a cupboard or a reservoir or some method to store those kilowatt hours of electricity. But you can't simply connect the battery to the mains itself, directly to the mains. You have to use a device called an inverter. And the inverter is the device that actually connects between the battery and the AC. The AC can charge the battery. It might be from directly from the power or it might be from a solar panel. And it will go into the battery. And when you want to use the power, it will discharge from the battery. And that's basically what it is. The inverter is the, 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 the item that connects between the battery or from the, from the solar panel to the AC. It connects it together. So we often refer to AC coupled. It's very simple. It basically means the inverter connects directly to the AC. The power doesn't flow through the inverter. So you just simply connect the inverter to one of the fuse boards. That's basically it. Um, it's just how they can save you money, basically two ways or three ways. One, if you've got a very large, if you're in a commercial business, you've got a very large array uh, on your roof, you might have a um, 50 kilowatt array and you might be just using a parity, you might be just using a grid tied inverter and hoping you'll, you know, you're going to use what you're generating, but you won't. Uh, by adding an inverter, that when you, you have the peak during the daytime, when the sun is shining, and in England it's not very often, um, then you, the power will store into, into the battery. And that when, you need to, when you're actually drawing more than you're generating, it'll come from the battery. So any energy that the battery stores is wasted power, so it's for free. And we've done calculations that looks at some applications. You know, literally, you can, it's like doubling the size of your array. So putting a battery is like having double the size of the array. The next use is on a house. If you've got solar panels and you've got a solar array and the sun is shining at maybe 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the daytime and uh, you've got power, you can run your refrigerator for free and run your washing machine for free and you generate a bit more and you, you export it, selling it back to the grid and they're going to give you five, six, seven p a kilowatt hour. Fantastic. And then you come home at night and you buy it back at 30, 40 p, as I said before. It's crazy. Who sells stuff less than what they're going to buy it for? You don't. And so the battery is used to save the power. The other third example of using a battery is if you're using, the, remember the old Comedy 7, charge you, heat your radiators up at night. So basically the power will heat radiators up at night and then uh, during the daytime it releases the power and you're using cheap off-peak electricity. It's exactly the same thing. You charge your batteries up at night using cheap electricity and at, during the daytime you discharge it. And the peak rate and low rate might be various times. It could be any time. You know, it might be the peak rate may only be for two or three hours or it might be for 12 hours. And obviously the longer the peak rate, the bigger the battery. So how big a battery do you need? Well, honestly, most houses, one battery, one inverter is enough. That's all you need. Um, because most of the power you use in the house is low power. Um, TVs, lights, you use nothing. You use very little. So the only thing you need electricity for is for your maybe hot water, um, maybe tumble dryer. And then at that point, you can use off-peak electricity. So there are things like that. So a relatively small battery, but a relatively small battery could save you a lot of power. That's why you need to look at the sun sink. 
you know, the SunSync system is amazing. And I, I call it the magic of SunSync because the SunSync is a bi-directional inverter. It's not a charger type. It doesn't have a battery charger and a separate inverter. It's an all-in-one unit. So the purpose of these next training videos, which will start very soon, are to discuss the benefits of the SunSync, the magic of the SunSync bi-directional inverter as opposed to a charger inverter. So follow me through on the various videos and I hope the training is good. I'll do my best. So most of it, I'm just going to be sitting at the desk.